Hi there, it's Sess again of DIY by Sess. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add tails to font in Cricut Design Space using Mac and Windows. So let's go ahead and start. So on your browser, go to google.com and type in the font.com. Once you're there, you can see this whole lot of selection of fonts. On the search bar on the upper right, type in Hello Honey. There are lots of other selection of fonts that have tails, but I usually use Hello Honey. Then click search, and you can see the font Hello Honey by Elf Studio, and then click download. Once downloaded, you can go to your download folders and you will see the font name that you downloaded with .otf, a license request from the author, which basically tells you to ask for their permission if you're using their font for commercial use and the please read me. I always click please read me to see what the author wants us to know before downloading their font. Here's the example. After reading it, go back and select hellohoney.otf and then click install font and then the font will be installed on in your font book. All the characters of the font will now be available to use. Now open your Cricut Design Space app, click text on the left side of the screen and then type in the words or names that you want to use. In my case, I want to use DIY by Sess, then select the font which is Hello Honey. Now I want to connect the Y and B and Y and C using a hard tail. So I'm going to open the font book app and look for the font name and then find the character that I want to use. I want to use the Y with a hard tail. I'll click it. Now you can either use Command C to copy it or click edit and click copy. Then go back to the Cricut Design Space app, then click the name, and then delete the Y and the space, then press Command and V simultaneously on your keyboard to paste the Y with a tail. And since I'm changing another Y, I'll delete the Y and I'll just paste it again either using Command and V button, or click Edit, click Paste like so, and then delete the space between Y and C. Now, if you want to put another tail on the first letter D, open the font book app, look for the character that you want to use, then click edit, then copy, then delete the letter D, then click edit, and then paste. Now, I'll change the last letter, which is S, go to font book again, choose the character, click command and C to copy it from the font book, and command and V to paste it to your Design Space app. Then size accordingly. Click Make It. If you're using Cricut Explore Air 2, adjust your dial setting. I always leave the Dial On custom to always prompt me on which setting I want it on for each project. Then select the material. I'll use Premium Vinyl. Then you will see the Pressure drop-down option. I always choose more pressure whenever I cut the Cricut brand premium vinyl for easier weeding. You can also choose fast mode, but I don't recommend it when cutting vinyl because I notice it often doesn't cut clean. Then lastly, press the flashing go button on your Cricut machine. Now, if you're using Windows, go to your website browser, then go to google.com and type in the font.com. Once you're there, you can see this whole lot of selection of fonts. On the search bar, on the upper right hand, type in Hello Honey. There are lots of other selection of fonts that have tails, but I usually use Hello Honey by Elf Studio. Then click search and you can see the font Hello Honey by Elf Studio. Then click download. Open your Cricut Design Space app. Click text on the left side of the screen. Type in the words or names that you want to use. In my case, I want to use DIY by Sess and then select the font which is Hello Honey. You need to open your character map by typing map in the search box on taskbar and then click the character map app. On the character map app, you can see all of the fonts that were downloaded on your computer. On the upper left, click find a font family then search for Hello Honey. Now all of the characters of Hello Honey will show up on your screen. 
Choose the character that you want to use. I'll choose Y with the heart tail and click copy at the bottom part of the screen. Then go back to the Cricut Design Space app, then click the name, and then delete the Y, then press Ctrl B button simultaneously on your keyboard to paste the Y with a the tail. Then delete the space, and since I'm changing another Y, I'll delete the Y in the space and I'll just paste it again. Now if you want to put another tail on the first letter D, open the character map again, look for the character that you want to use, then click copy. Then on your design space app, delete D, press Ctrl V to paste. Now I'll change the last letter which is S, go to character map again, choose the character which is S with a tail, click copy, then go back to design space app. Then delete the S and then press Ctrl V to paste it. There you have it. Please click subscribe for my next tutorial video. Thanks for watching.